Hello and welcome back to the commercial awareness update of the 27th of March. Credit card debt is growing in the UK at the fastest rate since before the financial crisis. According to data from the UK Finance, the annual growth rate in outstanding credit card debt of 8.3% in February was the highest for 12 years. The BBC points the finger at contactless purchases, saying that the more regular use of these cards for smaller transactions is a factor in increased debt. House prices in London are falling in almost half the capital's postcodes, reports The Guardian. The new data shows the most widespread collapse in property values across the capital since the 2008 financial crisis. The biggest falls were in central areas, with prices sinking in the city of London by as much as 8%. However, Manchester, Edinburgh and Liverpool are enjoying house price growth in excess of 7% per year. Women working at Telegraph Media Group get paid 35% less than men on average. It is the biggest gender pay gap from any UK newspaper, publisher or broadcaster to report official figures. Chief Executive of Telegraph Media Group, Nick Hugh, has committed to closing the gap to zero by 2025. He promised to introduce 50-50 gender shortlists for all vacancies and to do more to promote women to senior positions. Stocks in the US enjoyed their largest one-day gains for more than two and a half years, according to the Financial Times. The rally came as fears of a trade war eased and investors regained their taste for tech stocks. The S&P 500 added 2.7% after a torrid time of it last week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 2.8% and the Nasdaq Composite increased 3.3%. Deutsche Bank is preparing to out its UK bosses the bitter rows in the boardroom over the German investment banker's future roll-on. The lender has approached one of Goldman Sachs' most senior executives to replace John Cryan as chief executive. Cryan has been in the hot seat for less than two years. Shares have lost more than a tenth of their value in the past week after the business issued a profit warning.